Hello everyone! Kamusta kayo? Welcome back to MG and the Echo. My name is Ovela. My name is Amangel. And as you can see behind us, we got boom, Angelica Hale versus Celine Tam. Tam, Tam, Tam. <laughs> yes, impression video. This is the video I will tell you about our thoughts and impression and preference. Which one did we prefer? Which performance we prefer? Yeah. Yes, and you tell us which one you... you prefer by liking one of the reaction videos. And the first one that gets to a thousand five hundred likes Boing. will get a bonus, uh, basically reaction video of one of their other videos. Uh, and we will announce in that video which one of these two got to a thousand and five hundred likes first and got the. And got the MGN People's Choice Award. <laughs> yes. All right. So we reacted to well, we watched um, Angelica Hale's performance first. Um, with the, what did well, you know what? Let's start directly with the one that we preferred, and then explain why. That's I think it's easier. Okay. Why we preferred that one and not the other one? Okay. Go you know? ahead. You want, me, you want me to start? Mm -hmm. Okay. I preferred Angelica Hale. Mm -hmm. Her performance was inspiring. Mm -hmm. Her performance was not flawless. Mm -hmm. My only issue with her performance, seriously, was her first note. <laughs> mm. That is it. She had one note and it was the beginning. And you know what I say. The intro and outro need to be great and flawless. That's true. So that's like a minus one in my book. Oh come but, on! But hey, but it's always the hardest though. That's yes. why I personally I'm I'm super strict. But when it comes to the first note, the last note you should be warmed up by now. But the first note I understand because you know it's yeah. As it's you said, hard. the takeoff. Yeah, the takeoff. Especially at their age, I'm like I know I know they're super gifted, but still mm -hmm. the takeoff is always. That's why artists usually sing before they put the mic to their mouth. They're usually like. Mm -hmm, yeah, so uh, so that their voice is already like mm. yeah, that's yeah, what you don't yeah, hear. Because if you if artists could start singing in the middle of a song, it would be better, you know. What do you mean? It's like yeah, just like you said. Basically, you, you leave the mic here so that no one can can listen, and you start singing, and then when you feel it, it's right, rah. That's usually what they do. Or yeah. they start talking. That's also a way to get the vocals on. Like, That's I just right. want to say tonight, yeah. I want to thank everyone for... <laughs> <laughs> now I can sing for you. <laughs> yeah. So. There you go. Tips for Tips. knowing how to Tax. start a song. <laughs> Don't go in cold, man. That's yeah. harsh. Yeah. Over the side. <laughs> <clears throat> Sticks and stones can... It's like, why couldn't you start like that? <laughs> you know, I couldn't lift off. It, well, it happened, so yeah, yes. go ahead. So, in my opinion, while well, I preferred Angelica Hale's performance, she also gave me some oof. I some was, oof. Yo, man, she had some surprises. She did. I was not expecting surprises, you know? What surprise did you not expect? The, the, the... <laughs> I was like, a nine-year-old, you can do that? That was very impressive. And she gave me some beautiful... And soft scales. Mm -hmm. Scales. I was right. like, ooh, mm -hmm. damn, mm -hmm. girl, mm -hmm. at your age, damn. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and and there is some... the whistle you didn't mention. Yes, the whistle. That's what I'm saying. Surprises, surprises. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She she gave us different things, and I really like that when a, an artist can surprise us and change and make a song their own. You know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, now. There's something like Celine Tam, I thought sang well, she had a lot more flaws, you know, she had speech issues here and there. Um, the thing is, like, her performance was good, but there is, I don't know, maybe I'm reading too much into this, but Angelica, she believes in herself just as Celine Tam does, but I feel like Angelica believes in herself because she wants to believe in herself. She wants to be a singer. That's the feeling that I'm getting. Mm -hmm. Celine, I feel like she has more pressure. Mm -hmm. I feel like maybe her parents are putting a little too much pressure on her. Mm -hmm. That 
she's almost scared to mess up. Mm. She doesn't feel as free, mm. you know, to mm-hmm, just be mm-hmm, herself mm-hmm. and just go for it, mm-hmm, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's the look she was giving me in that performance. Like, I have to do it. I have to When do it. When you believe. Otherwise, something is going to happen, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Like, otherwise, I'm gonna make my disappoint, disappoint people. Mm. But Angelica is like, like they told her, it doesn't matter if you make it or not, just sing. It's mm. just for fun, it's for you. If you like it, then that's great. Mm-hmm. You see? Maybe. So, that could be so it. probably Celine was more nervous. Yes, yeah. if anything, yeah. Maybe we don't, maybe we don't know the reasons why, no, but it are. does feel like... Of course like, we don't know. No, 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 I know. That was one theory, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, it, basically what I can agree on is what I'm saying is that definitely Celine seemed more nervous mm-hmm. and Angelica consistently feels like she owns the stage. She's there having fun. She's enjoying it. She knows what I mean, to her, do. Her, her, she her... doesn't think it. It feels like Celine is overthinking Yeah, exactly. It. Exactly. Celine, I mean, her hands tell you everything. <laughs> And did you see? She walked like she owned that stage. And say. that's the thing. That's the thing. Why is Celine not moving? This is the second time. Just stoic. Mm, move, girl, move. Move. Angelica moved, and something happens when you move. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> and and that song, I mean, both songs are not easy to sing. That's for damn sure. Oh no. Yeah, yeah. Especially when one is a duet. And Celine, I have to give her credit, and also deduct a point because uh, Angelica Hale sang it all on her own. Celine had backups. But I give her a point because on in those portions she harmonized very well. It was nicely done. <laughs> so that's very good. Oh goodness. So I'm for Angelica. What which one do you prefer? Okay. I also preferred Angelica Hale's performance. Lil Mama was giving me Britney Spears VMAs 2005 or something, just like Mm. starting off with a bang. And the growl, forgot to mention the growl. The growl, Mm. excuse me. But when I'm saying Britney Spears, I mean the uh, mise en scène, the performance Mm. itself, where she started off in the universe, space in a capsule. And it's just (laughs) grandiose kaleidoscopic perfect great and she took a what is it an EDM song and turned it into a ballad hello already that was a great move yes because when you change the genre of a song you're already making it kind of your own and it you have more room to do things when you're putting on big mama shoes like Whitney and Mariah's and you are little mama with two feet and not four It's a lot harder yeah. to stand in that place, in that yeah. presence, and occupy that space. Yeah, let's give her props still. So, yes, Celine mm-hmm. was very bold in doing yeah. that. But I think, unfortunately, it hurt her in this mm-hmm. case for many things. But we'll get, uh, you kind of touched on it, and I'm going to get to that. So, so I was just in love with watching Angelica be Angelica. I love the way she, she moved in her performance. She was M. Angelica. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> sure. That's true that I do bring the same kind of je ne sais quoi to my performances. No. And uh, no, so I loved it. I say Britney again because when I was younger, I looked at Britney's performances. It was the thing to look forward to because there were dancers, there was a mm-hmm. show, there was movement, there was scene changes, yeah. there was a, a spectacle, you know? So I, I really enjoyed it. That's what she gave us when she got out of the castle. She moved, as she said, she, she did amazing runs. She did whistling. Parts that you would expect her to do in falsetto, she did it with her her full voice, yeah. and it was amazing, that range mm-hmm. that she has. I hope that she doesn't lose that when she wow, goes through yeah. puberty, because a lot of people do. But she has such a high range and low, and it's yeah. amazing. Mm-hmm. She runs through it so easily. She would just go, ah, uh, ah, uh, like it was yeah. nothing. Yeah. I was like, whoa, girl, okay. I would trip and fall and break my face, metaphorically, in those, in those notes. But she did it like it's nothing. It was just so enjoyable. And the song was a, 
it just felt appropriate. The performance, the tone, even though she still had that, I can take over the world kind of energy. It was still kind of like, why? I agree, like, I yeah, love the yeah. end when she was like, why are you like Clarity? <laughs> felt that little girl like, why? It was so cute. <laughs> I was like, oh, adorable. She's just there pouring her heart out and everything, whistling. putting her hand to the sky like divine intervention this is where it happens this is where I'm getting my powers yep. you know mm. the space so it was wonderful and Celine was also I loved Celine's set she was on a rose I was like is this Beauty and the Beast a little too on? much it, it was, was so huge cute. It was huge, but yeah. I loved it. She looked like a tiny midget. That's on the it. thing. She should have sang like Beauty and the Beast or something. It would have been more appropriate with that set. Because every time I hear that song, I think Prince of Egypt. So I think sand, poverty, mm. starvation, the plague, uh, Jewish people rising up, getting out of, you know, slavery. And I don't see little girl on a rose many nights. We prayed, you know, I don't see that. So for me, I was like, oh, this is so weird. But I tried not to think about where the song comes from and tried to focus on the performance itself. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying song choice was a bit off because of... Again, because last time, that's what you mentioned as well. I mean... With Celine. I don't know who's choosing her songs, but yeah. someone needs to talk to her. Be like, girlfriend. I mean, they two need to talk. I'm going to make a video. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make another skit. These two need to talk and give each other tips because yeah. sisters need to help each other out. Um, yeah, the song, I don't, I think that in song choice, Angelica had a song that was easier to work with. Celine didn't. And, um, and even though Angelica had a song, a ballad, she still moved during it. So there's no reason why Celine couldn't also move, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. She could have yes. walked a bit. I know it's the kind of song that you stand there and you point to people and you sing, but... It would have it would have benefited more from, emotions from you know more are emotions conveyed from. through movement yes definitely yeah. and she was way too chipper for this song too yeah. it was a song she, she with that happy beautiful cute energy she has she should uh, I think she should have chosen another song for okay her. and yeah as you said it felt more karaoke than the other performance mm -hmm. the other one felt like a performance <laughs> this felt like a karaoke she was standing there there was during the breaks it was just like Waiting for the next, no. <laughs> she was over smiling. She was smiling too much during the performance. She was smiling and trying to sing and smile at the same trying. time. It's it's difficult. That's the thing. It felt like, and she was, as, as we mentioned, she was too much in her head. Yeah, yeah, don't try to be perfect. Angelica was performing and mm. Celine was trying. Yeah. You know, that's the difference. Uh, yeah. Angelica was not trying to smile at all. She was like, no. <laughs> I mean, you don't see her. Yeah, but the other one was like this. Yeah. Yes, and at the end there, it almost felt like a plea, like help. No. Oh. <laughs> Believe. I'm stuck. Yes, I'm so sorry. <laughs> help! They've got me singing. Hey, I'm to PM. I don't know. It would look like a cry for help. Poor child. Anyways, either way, these two are amazing singers. Mm -hmm. We're not taking away from them. Either one. Fantastic. They both have bright careers ahead of them if they keep at it. And yes. we're just expressing our preference was for Angelica for this performance. But Celine, yes. if this is what you want to do, girl, you can do it if you just believe. Yeah, in this case, Celine feels more like a Disney singer, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. I would say that, yeah. definitely. Um, okay, so for this uh, VS, Angelica gets a, a two, yeah, two votes. So uh, two more likes for Angelica. So Angie. Yeah. And not because her name is like my name. <laughs> no, of course not. Um, yeah, so hope you liked our impressions on these two performances. Hope you liked our reaction for the verses. And don't forget to vote for the one that you prefer. And again, um, the one that gets to 1,500 likes will get the MGN People's Choice, uh, People's Choice, yeah, our stamp. And we'll get a bonus video with a reaction of their one of their performances. So there you have it. Um, and yeah, if you haven't seen our reactions, you know what to do. Go watch them. It's easy to find. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Of course, it's your turn to let us know what did you think 
comment section below. You know what to do. If you have other suggestions or videos you want us to react to, you can always leave them in the comment section below, as you usually do. Or you can always go to the Music Game News Patreon page, sign up, support MGN, and get your video reacted to within the month of your subscription. So it's very easy. People have already done it and they are benefiting yeah. from it, enjoying the rewards, and we really appreciate it because with your help, we can do more and keep moving forward and keep improving. So it's we're just trying to grow. That's all it is. It's win-win. It's win-win. Exactly. Thank you for watching another MGN The Echo battle and impression video. We hope that you enjoyed yourself, had a great time. We definitely did. This was awesome. So throw us a little like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're waiting for you to subscribe. Thanks for those who have. And take care. We'll see you very, very soon. Very soon. Yeah, you. Yeah, you.